Welcome to the RxJS video series. My name is Austin Culp, and I'm a senior enterprise software engineer at Brebug. Today, we're going to talk about the RxJS creation function from event. The from event creation function emits a stream of events from a specific target source. At its most basic, from event will require you to provide a target and an event name for it to listen on. Out of the box, from event supports the following event sources. DOM event targets, a Node.js event emitter, a jQuery-like event target, a node list, or an HTML collection. Should your needs go beyond any of these targets, you should check out from event pattern. We can, of course, just use lower level APIs to listen on any events being published by the source we're interested in. And this approach works fine, but we're presented with a couple of possible issues. First, we're left to write additional boilerplate code for explicitly adding and removing event listeners. Second, we lack the power and the flexibility of an RxJS event stream. So in order to get moving with from event, we'll need the following, a foundational understanding of observable creation functions, an understanding of the desired event source and its API, for example, a DOM event target. As a web developer, I need to build applications that run on a multitude of devices and are also visually appealing and usable on every display size. For example, imagine a scenario where I'm interested in determining the current screen width or the screen orientation. Obviously, the CSS spec provides us some nice tools, such as media queries, but what if I want programmatic control or inspection of that state? Furthermore, what if I was interested in having this information piped in the process of an RxJS stream? Here, we're creating a generic helper function that returns an observable stream, accepting a parameter for the media query itself and returning an object we can use to inspect the current media query and whether or not we currently have a match. We're using the watch media method on the window interface so that we can get access to the media query list object, which is an event target. The result will be our from event target parameter and we'll instruct RxJS to listen for change events on this DOM node, as well as provide a result selector callback to return our media query state. Since RxJS is adding event listeners via the event sources API, it's also removing them as we unsubscribe from the observable. So don't forget to use your favorite pattern for ending the observable's execution when it's no longer needed. The from event creation function can help cut down on some usual boilerplate code for interacting with common event APIs, improve on lower level API scalability, and also give you access to an RxJS flow. Be sure to check out some of our other videos. I'll see you next time.